Alright you guys, welcome back to another episode of Lost in Random. And I believe when we left off we were getting ready to enter Freedom. But I wanted to see if we could find some more bloops. So let's just go ahead and jump into this and we'll go from there. On a side note, I do have my daughter here. And she's a little bit on the noisy side. Obnoxious, if you will. She's making all kinds of faces at you guys right now. So, all right. So this guy, we actually needed, I don't remember if it was two or three bloops, but let's see what he wants. Well, have you gotten the ingredients yet? I have one bloop. I have some of them. I need all of them. He means I need all of them. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. So we got to figure out where the other bloops are. I don't know if we can come back here before we complete that part. Damn. I should have looked that up before. Uh, uh, okay, you have nothing good to say. What about you? Look for people to trade with in Cellar Street. Yeah, no shit. That's kind of what Cellar Street's for. Um, what is this? Hold on. Can I get up here? Uh, I can't jump or climb, so apparently I can't get up there. Let's uh, let's see if we can find some more bloops. Oh, okay. Here we go. Well, we're gonna give him his eye back so he can upgrade the pips. I heard a ruckus. Long story. But you've got your eyes, Seymour. Oh, my peepers and weepers. Oh, I've missed you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd miss my eyes too. Much better. That was the case. <laughs> and as for those pips, if you don't mind, it just takes a little precision, the utmost finesse, and. <laughs> Done. Good as new, little buddy. All right. Well, hey, he got his uh, his eyes back. So let's say uh, find someone who's true to their word. If they're gonna help that him, I mostly am. Even that, I mostly am. Thank you for helping me properly see you again. Um, you're welcome, buddy. Not everyone would have done what you did, and old Seymour here will never forget that. So. What are you going to do now? Um, I got to go find two more bloops. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm off to Threedom to look for traces of my sister Odd. Which I'm not sure why they go to Threedom. Being that the, uh, the evil queen or whatever her name is. Or no, it was like that weird nanny thing. Took her straight to Sixdom, Six Town, whatever they want to call it. She became a six. So, not, I'm not sure why I would look for traces of them throughout. You know, one through six. But, uh, regardless, we got to roll a three to progress. So, we're going to do that. The old one-step-at-a-time approach, eh? Well, that's a healthy way to approach the unknown. Well, I wish you well on your next adventure. And uh, if I could give you some semi-solicited advice. Sure. I, I'm, I'm good up with that. Like, why not? Every roll of the dice matters. But not every roll counts. The fuck does that even mean? Every roll of the dice matters, but not every roll counts. Last time I checked, when you roll a dice, it counts. I mean, uh, that's the whole point of having three, as opposed to one or two. Shit, if you guys know, let me know down in the comments below. Because, and now I'm confused. Isn't it though? It's so fun. Bye, even. I'll miss you. But no, sure it, we'll there's nothing fun and cryptic about that shit. 
every roll of the dice matters, but not every roll count. That, that makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Seymour upgraded Dicey to roll a three. Now even should be able to open the gates to three dumb. Yeah, I, I get that part. But I don't want to roll. Get on me. What's your issue? Uh, we still need to find the uh, the bloops for these guys. So, just give me one second. I'll be right back with you guys and we'll get this figured out. All right, guys, we are back. Let me click back on the screen. There we go. So apparently there's one back here by a guy with a ladder. I, sorry, I looked it up. I'm, I'm not willing to play through at least a third of the game all over again. Scoundrels Alley. For sale? Who wants oh, God, to now what she have to say. I wonder if you... Paid me your rarest word. My rarest word? Ha, what the hell does that even mean? Um, what do you have to offer in trade? Um, let's trade her a joke. Let's See what she it. says. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Look, I, I'm a dad, so, uh... No, I got it. Why the number six fear the number seven? Because seven, Why? eight, nine. Because seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine? Oh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Ugh, keep that joke. I don't want it. What? what do you you didn't want my trade? best joke? Okay. Rare word. I'm listening. Um. Word to be used when the planets align. A word that describes the process of learning itself or a word that's easy on the eyes. Let's go with easy on the eyes. Curious. It's isom. It means attractive, I think. Isom? It sounds gross. Yeah, like it you're does. Putting something in your eye. Gross. No thanks. No trade here. All right. What do you have to offer uh, in trade? Let's try something else. Um an even rarer word? Well, your last one didn't do anything for me, but I'm listening. God damn. He's harsh. Uh, let's go with uh, a word used when the planets align. It's... I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that, because... Why? When three or more celestial bodies line up in a straight line. Syzygy. Okay, well, I guess I lied to you guys. I'm going to try to pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced syzygy. I like the amount of Y's in that word, but three or more planets. Oh, that's a hard sell here in Two Town. Fair and enough. That's a pass from me. What do oh, you have to offer Jesus, anything? what do you want from me, woman? Uh, an even rarer word. Well, your last one didn't do anything for me, but I'm listening. Um... A word that describes the process of learning itself. Oh, this fucking word again. <laughs> it's abdubalescence. Abdubalescence. Ab Maybe my tongue's just not made for this shit. But it means enjoyment. How does a small girl like you know an adult word like that? An adult word? I'm 33 years old. I've I've never once heard that word. So you want to call it an adult word? That's all on you. Herman, an old junker in one town, taught me it. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that excuse. Adlubescence. Oh, learning it. Adlubescence. The breath of the essence sound. The mouth feel of adlube. Oh, the Adlubescence. Oh, oh, this is a word I can. It doesn't fit right in my mouth. I'm, I'm not I'll ever gonna repeat in that word to. in my life. Oblectament. Oblectament. That's the word you give me in return. That feels just as wrong. All right, let's let's go with a little bit of word porn here. 
close. Oblectement. It means a source of delight. For example, learning adlubescence is an oblectement. Thank you again, kid. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. That's not right. That's completely wrong. Like, <laughs> I, I will never use either one of those words in my normal day-to-day -day life. Ever. Like, literally ever. Beautiful. It, this makes Use absolutely it, no sense. I got words for sale here. Choice words. What is this? The word ablecting. At ablelecting. Uh, see? There we go. There is absolutely no reason for me to say that word. But sure, it means delight. Or you could just say the word delight. D E. L-I-G-H-T. The light. That, that's it. That's all you gotta do. You, you don't have to be fancy with it. This is some fucking bullshit they're trying to sell us right now. Blue Not happy song. about it. It means, I already traded with you. I'm good for words, but oh, thank uh, you. That was your trade? Kid, that's a trade secret. Can't have you stealing all... The whole to buy a that's word. this I person's one trade is a word that nobody will ever use wait I heard it where is it there's something green up there we gotta get to any pots around here for us to shoot no hi I'm Harry twofold uh oh cool dice costume kid Careful you don't get arrested in it. Wait. We gotta be able to get up here, right? Alright, probably gotta talk to this guy. I love the upside down town. It's a whole second to town. Well, it it's no longer active. And they're all right. It's a huge mistake. Well, that was a little dark. I thought you liked it. Sorry. You must have been speaking to my other half. I hate it. By which I mean it rules. Sure. Let, let, let's go with that. You're changing personalities much faster than the others. Maybe you're going yeah, a little bit crazy. That's kind of my whole thing. But one thing will always remain consistent. My love for the upside downtown. It's beautiful and great and i hate it worst idea we ever had brilliant I gotta agree with that guy and execution a disaster in waiting that will make everyone happy to die one day so that they can escape this horrible monster city oh, i gotta and turn then this go up to heaven which will be exactly like the new upside downtown yeah, I, I don't think that's exactly how that works, but, um, you know, it's okay to find something just okay. You know, my doctor said the same thing. The oh, kidding so overwhelmed with the upside downs of this world all the time wasn't good for me. I called him an insensitive low roller and left, but maybe this time I should listen. Oh, you think you... you really think you should listen to your doctor as long as your doctor isn't Fauci then I think you're probably on the right track there go up here and see if we can go up this ladder maybe there we go on that left bumper get up here quick what are you <laughs> what are you doing right here all right, we're gonna take this bloop. Nice weather we're having. Oh, hey, you said it, man. Um, how's it hanging? Makes sense. Sure, yeah, we'll go with that. Hey, classic bloop. Okay, I'll go pick you up now, because fuck you. That's why. All right. Well, we got our second bloop 
Sure, let's go with that. Um, let me see here. Goddamn bloops. Alright. Get down from here. On that left bumper. Alright. We're gonna end up right here. Alright, let's find out where this last one is. According to what I read, it's in a stall in Cellar Street. What's this guy have to say? I don't think we've talked to him yet. Oh, uh, why the long face? I need inspiration. I'd trade my Gobble Gregor for a flash of genius. I'm through Pipkin, by the way. I am an artist, but not with paints or music. My art is the art of trading, and I want to push the art forward. Trading Gobble Gregors is so routine. I want to trade something that hasn't been traded before. You wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? Um, I've got a word. I, I mean, I don't see why not. You want this word? Because I'm a never going to use it. Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's oh, yeah, I'm sure it will be. Obelectant. Obelectament. That is a beautiful word. Whatever the fuck that word is. I would like some oblectament, please. <gasps> yes, it Oblectimate. is a good word, and that means it has value. Any anything with value, I can trade. Oh, this is going you sure to be about great. that, bud? Now, your friend Ian is an honest trader, so let me compensate you for that word by giving you a Gobble Gregor in exchange. They're very futuristic. A... <laughs> Imagine not knowing what a Gobble Gregor is. Hilarious. I have no oh, idea what a Gobble Gregor is. Here's the Gobble Gregor. Just be sure not to use it in full reverse. We all know what happens then. Do we? Because I've never... Uh, okay, yeah. Sure, we do. Great, kid. Whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, a Gobble Gregor. One could gobble Greg anything with this baby. One could also trade it to, or trade it in, Shell Street for something valuable. Whatever the fuck that means. Um, this guy's got a question mark over here. Let's go talk to him. Oh, hey, look at that. That's our last bloop. What's your name, little dude? Yeah. Sure, we'll go with that. Have you heard of any? Cool bloop rumors. You know, apparently we're in the word and rumor game now. So, we gotta know. For sure. Well, whatever that means. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. In you go. Alrighty then. Uh, how about we get the hell out of here? Oh, uh, gotta go. Well, we're already at Cellar Street. I don't remember if it's down this way where we have to sell it or give it to the uh, the Two Faced Doctor guy. Probably not. A pot right there we can break. Oh, okay. Oh, nothing over here. We got a part right there we can break. I don't think that was there before. Oh, shit. Kind of full of a bunch of assholes. We just gotta figure out where we need to go. I don't think I've gone this far back. Oh, no, no, no. It's right up here to the right. Yep. I didn't think we traveled that far back, but maybe we did. Or maybe we just didn't reach us this part of Seller Street. So many words, kid. Got to say on Bucolic right now if you're interested. 
Okay. Yeah, right here. This is where we're going to give them. You have the ingredients! Brilliant! That's all I need. But please, pass them over. Remember, you did say you'd give them to me. I did. Uh, but I think I'm going to give them to the other guy. What? I don't understand. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it was logical that you would choose me to be the dominant personality. That is what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Good! Well, all that remains is to mix the ingredients, drink the resolution solution, and... Huh. I feel... different. Better? Uh, different. Definitely different. D d don't feel bad. This was the logical course of action. Now, it's only fair that I give you this. The promised reward. It's my partner's personality, distilled down to its pure essence. I hope you okay. treat him well. Sure. I never could. He deserves more. He deserves better than I could give him. He deserves... <laughs> Listen to me. As if being sentimental is logical. Thank you for your help. Sure, you're welcome. Alright. Well... Okay. Natalia's bell. Summon a healing bell that heals the dice wielder when she's nearby. The spell lasts 60 seconds. So that... That seems like a decent card. Why not? Oh, they're blocking the way. Alright, we got that one. So, I'll leave you guys off here. Next episode, uh, I understand this one was shorter. But next episode, we're going to go to 3 dumb Because it's right in front of us. Right where that... The guy that... Uh, what's his name? Seymour that we got his eyes back for. Um, yeah, next episode we'll go to three dumb and we'll explore some some three dumb antics because I'm sure there's going to be some. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Hit that bell if you want to know when a new video goes live. If not, that's fine too. If you're watching on Rumble, go ahead and leave a Rumble. And until then, I will catch you guys in the next one.